in today's video we are going to discuss typescript versus javascript myself mohammad zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid it pro really fast so without any further ado let's get started many people get confused when talking about typescript versus javascript some mix them up as the same thing and many cannot differentiate between them in reality both get used entirely differently and have entirely different properties yes typescript is a superset of javascript but it has more properties and offers more features than javascript first of all let's talk about the typescript typescript is an object oriented programming language with many features that javascript doesn't have we can have modules static typing and interfaces in typescript there are some significant advantages of using the typescript like getting the error right away at the compilation time which saves a lot of time it supports static typing and checks the type correctness at the compile time i'll give you the example as well although TypeScript is very powerful than JavaScript. It has some shortcomings as well. For example, TypeScript takes more time to compile and it is not a lightweight language, which means it needs time and resources to run on a system. Most importantly, TypeScript is not as easy to learn and does not have a mature community. This means you will not get a lot of help if you get into any problem. Well, the community is there. but as compared to the javascript community it is minimal now let's talk about the javascript it is a scripting language known as the brain for html and css it is a very prominent scripting language used by almost every web developer in one form or another now we have a lot of new languages and frameworks that are being used today and all of them are based on javascript it's a very lightweight language and takes significantly less time to compile it also offers you options to explore and create your code without the build setup javascript is very flexible unlike the typescript it has enormous community support now i will show you some of the example of typescript because i'm sure that you have idea about javascript So I'll show you those things that are different in TypeScript than JavaScript and I will also show you some of the features or you can say some of the things that TypeScript provides and JavaScript does not. First of all, JavaScript is a loosely typed language while TypeScript is a tightly typed language. As you can see that I have declared two variable and I have given them values. In front of car it is string value, in front of age it is an integer. But when it comes to TypeScript we have to declare the data type as well that is why i have declared string and number in here if i run this program in javascript this will run without any error and for the second part which is typescript i will not have an error until unless i have declared the data types here as well one more thing is very clear here and that is we are getting the errors at the compilation time because car and age are declared twice that is why we are getting the error here If I try to run this program I have two errors in here it said executed javascript failed because it is a javascript code and down here it says identified car has already been declared and same is the case here we have car declared twice so I will just remove the upper code and now if I try to run this program as you can see we do not have any error this is because the coding convention is right here and now if I try to run my program I will not have any problem Well we do not have any output because we did not have printed anything to do so we need to write here console dot log and in that we need to pass the variables which are car and age so if i run this program now here you can see we have two outputs in here so this example showed us that javascript is a loosely typed language while typescript is a tightly typed language and we also saw that how we have error on compilation time in typescript now let's move on to the next example now i'll show you an example of type annotations while typescript was created to statistically identify constructs 
that are likely to be errors and that allows us to have some safe assumption about state during the execution. I have an example in front of you. Here I have written a code and in that nothing in JavaScript will prevent a script from calling get password because we have non boolean value and this will result in a silent error at a runtime and this can be entirely avoided at compile time using type scripts type annotation and as you can see as i have given the value in my get password here i have the error without even running the program so that shows that type annotation is a very powerful and saves you a lot of time now i'll show you the same example with javascript code so this is the same example but now it is in java and now we will not have any error and it will run very smoothly but in case if there is a problem we have to run this program if we are working in javascript but as we have seen earlier that when we were talking about in typescript we did not have to run our program and it gave the error right away now I will talk about some of the features that are not available in JavaScript and I will discuss some of them. So first of all, I'll talk to you about interface. So here you have an example in front of you. This function basically will check the call to print table and this function, which is print table has only single parameter and that requires object that is passed in it and it has a property which is called as label. And that label has a type, which is string, obviously. One thing is to notice here, and that is our object has more properties than this, but the compiler will only check that the required ones are present and match those required types. So there are some cases where TypeScript isn't as lenient. We can have the same example again, but before that, I just want to show you here that how interface work in TypeScript. And now let's have another example and this time I will use the interface to describe the requirement of having the label property that is a string and here is the label that I'm talking about. So this is the example and now we have value of our label and we also have its size and now if I run my program in here I do not have any error and here we have the output as size 10 object. So how cool is that and how powerful it is in TypeScript. Now let's talk about classes in TypeScript. Traditional JavaScript uses the functions and prototype based inheritance to make the reusable components. And that was very prominent, but this might be a bit awkward to programmers who are more comfortable with an already available object oriented approach where we have classes inherit functionality and objects that are built from these classes. I'll show you an example of these classes and how they look like and how they work. So this is the example and here the syntax looks familiar if you have used Java or C hash. We have declared a new class which is greeter and this class has three more members, a property called greeting and we have a constructor and a method which is greet which is this one. You will notice that when we refer to one of the class members, we prepend this keyword which are these two. This denotes that it's a member access. And in the last line, as you can see, we construct an instance of the greeter class using new. And this calls into the constructor we defined earlier, creating a new object with a greeter shape and running the constructor to initialize it. I'm sure that you will have an idea that how this is working if you have worked even a little bit on object oriented programming paradigms and that was all about the classes and now I'll show you that how inheritance work in TypeScript. In TypeScript, we can use common object oriented patterns and one of the most fundamental pattern in class based programming is being able to extend the existing classes to create new ones using inheritance. So I'll show you an example here so that we can have better understanding about this phenomena in TypeScript. So this is the example in front of you. And here we have a dog class that is inherited from the animal class. And this is also called as a parent class. And the other classes which are extended from the parent class are known as child classes. And drive classes are also often called as subclasses. And base classes are often called as superclasses as well. Because dog extends the functionality from animal here, we created an instance of dog that could both bark and move. 
and here we have a method with bark and down here we have a method with the name of move now we just need to pass the values and we will have these two methods taking the values from its parent class and now if i run my program the values should be 10 and woof woof so now let's run our program here you can see we have the same value that we have intended earlier this animal moved is coming from here and then we have 10 which we are passing from dog.move method and then we have m here and this is the value which is getting passed from here and that is why we are getting twice this value because we have called this method twice in our output and this is how inheritance work in TypeScript. Now I'll talk to you about how abstract classes work in TypeScript and I'll show you an example as well. Well, abstract classes are base classes from which we can drive other classes. And unlike an interface, an abstract class may contain implementation detail for its members as well. Well, we have to use the abstract keyword to make sure that we are defining the abstract classes and abstract methods within an abstract class. They may not be instantiated directly now let's have an example and let's see how it looks like and how it works. So this is my abstract class, which is defined by abstract keyword. Then we have another method in our abstract class. Method within an abstract class marked as abstract and it do not contain implementation and the implementation must be present in the drive class. Well, abstract methods share a similar syntax to interface method and both define the signature of a method without including a method body. However, abstract methods must include the abstract keyword and include access modifier. And that is why we have defined the abstract keyword before defining our class in here. And that was all about those significant features that we get in TypeScript and we do not have those available in JavaScript. And these features make TypeScript stand out from the JavaScript. And that is why people who work on large and complex projects tend to go for TypeScript instead of JavaScript because it gets heavier and hectic when we have to handle a large project with JavaScript. And that is why TypeScript is getting more and more attention nowadays. And that brings us to the end of today's video. So please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.